Yeah, sorry. Slow I'm having... down on the flying. Yeah, yeah, less yeah, yeah, yeah. fun. Stop having fun on this channel. Oh, Tell God me damn what it. the quad feels like in the air because it looks oh, like. Oh, oh, no. oh. Yeah. What, what did I say? Oh, okay. What okay, did okay. I say? Okay. You might be looking for a smaller quad. Winter's coming, somewhere to fly around that's a little bit smaller. Armiton's one of your favorite brands. You think, gee, what offerings do they have? Well, stay tuned because they just released the Tadpole. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today I am very excited because it is not every day we get Armiton products on the channel, and most of the time, I should say every single time, they absolutely smash it. They make really, really cool quads in Armiton. They've made the Marmot, the Rooster. I'm sure if I put a little poll up here, what do you feel about Armiton? They are one of the most popular frame makers in the world, and that is for a reason. They make great, great quality stuff, and they also have a fantastic warranty program. Now today, what we're gonna be checking out, it's kind of interesting for me, because it's uh, usually I'm reviewing their five inches. Today, what we have, it is their little, super cute little tadpole. It's a little, I guess you could almost call it toothpick style class, but it seems to be just ever so slightly a little bit bigger than that. It's got 2.5 inch props on the outside, and I've got to say, I can't wait to get outside and rip this. I'm very, very excited to fly this thing around. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be breaking it down, putting it on the bench, looking at the techs and the specs, finding out how this craft goes together. It's copying a lot of designs from the Armiton, just from looking at it. I should say from the Rooster, from the Marmot with their front designs, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and then we'll go out of the field, rip it around, and just have some fun with the boys and find out, is this micro going to be the right one for you? And I should also say too, I think it's coming in at like $35 or something like that, but I have that's for the frame and there should be a binder fly. I'll see if I can find a link, I'll put it down below. But this is just a prototype version. So the version that people will be able to get it's going to have a different stack in there. It's going to have the V2 stack, you know, smart audio enabled. It's going to have Armiton motors on the outside. So yeah, this is just uh, a bit of an early prototype that we're going to be zipping around having fun with. But the full version or the final version, uh, yeah, it'll be even upgraded again after this. So let's do it. What is it? As an overview, it is a tiny little a micro quad. It's rocking 2.5 millimeter props and it's designed for a 3S battery. Right here, so let's put it on the scales with the air cup technique. It is coming in at 63 grams or 63 and a half grams. Very, very light considering the things that this frame is offering over some of those other toothpick ones out there. So a lot of times those toothpick frames, they are bottom mounted and the wrist is a top mounted, which is going to make a huge difference to a lot of people. And also you have some two millimeter thick, relatively thick arms here or wide arms, I should say. It's going to be a lot stronger than most of other simple toothpicks you see out there buzzing around. So with that out of the way, let's quickly dive in, look at the components before we go out to the field, fly it around, all that sort of fun stuff. Starting at the outside end, of course, we've got some 2.5 mm, millimeter props. They're just tri blades underneath that. I've got some Brother Hobby. I think they're 1103, 110, they are 1103s, 8,000 KV motors, but there's going to be some upgraded Armiton ones. I'm not sure if they've got the same KV. It'll be on the website, the link down below, but there will be some actual Armiton motors on the final production versions of these. Moving towards the middle, we just have an iFlight stack. Now, this is the V1, of course, but there's going to be the upgraded V2. I'll put some stats on the screen, like the ESCs and all that sort of stuff, but essentially just think beta flight OSD, your usual kind of uh, kit that you'd get in the middle. Plus, we do have an awesome little VTX in the top, which is running towards the back with this awesome little, uh, if I don't say, my, say so myself, I love this little antenna mount. It's just got a little sort of rubber molded bit that it sits into, and a nice big aluminium cage, which is important. Not all toothpicks offer this. Your camera, in true Armiton style, is very well protected. Camera's cost a lot of money. They're usually one of the most fragile pieces on your quad. So uh, it is great now. We have this little bumper at the front, just like on the Rooster, just like on the Marmot, in true Armiton style. You can protect your camera. You know, I wouldn't be doing that on any of my other drones on the camera, just smashing it like that. But yeah, if you're flying this thing around, you don't have to worry about breaking this thing and the components inside it. Hey, if you do break it, of course, Armiton's got that pretty awesome replacement warranty. Now, moving on, let's talk about some of the design features I like about this thing. It has a slanted, the first part I should say, it is slanted. The back is a little bit lower than the front. That's to reduce some of the drag. I think it's called shedding or something like that. When you punch a hole through the air, I guess the space that's left, this is meant to minimize that. Uh, it has this nice, like I mentioned before, beautiful camera mount to protect your camera 
camera at the front. I like how it's a unibody. Having a top mounted battery, if you look at what this, this quad is for, it is for ripping around, having fun, doing a bit of freestyle. It's meant to feel like a five inch, just uh, a little bit more agile. That's what it says in the description. But you look at all the top freestyle pilots out there. They are flying around with top mounted batteries. And a big thing about toothpicks, they all seem to be bottom mounted. So uh, Armiton's taken what they know, their design philosophies, and they've made a toothpick style <coughs> excuse me and they've made a toothpick style which is a top mounted battery so i think first and foremost that's probably the main thing i love about this quad besides the camera protection and it's a bit thicker strong look there's actually seems to be a lot of things but i really like that uh, it has a top mounted battery on here now flipping it over you can also see towards the back i love how this little antenna is going here i think that's really well designed it doesn't need any bolts or anything to hold that in it's not going to get in the way of the props and i'll see if i can put a picture on the screen it's just the first time it's uh it's loosely sitting in there, I should say, or it's not bolted down, but it's not gonna be going anywhere. Got a little foam pad so you can really zip things down. And yeah, overall, I gotta say the design of the Tadpole is, it's what I would expect from Armiton, which is just absolutely stunning. You can tell I'm excited, and uh, toothpicks aren't my favorite type of class of quad, but this one, it really does make me wanna just, I just picture having this in my bag. Let's go for a quick rip, zip it around. It doesn't matter if there's concrete around or anything like that, because it seems to be really robust. Uh, moving on. Too much rambling about the design of this thing. I should say, let's talk about the quality. And of course, look, it's Armiton. You've got that warranty. They're great, mate. Top-notch carbon. I love the aluminium you've got at the front. I wonder if there ever will be a titanium version, even though you're probably not going to need it when this thing's crashing into the ground because, look, it's so light. Its actual weight is, you know, the amount of inertia or force when you hit the ground isn't going to be terribly hard. I expect it to be going very, very fast. Just Armiton quality. What more can I say? They, they just seem to make great stuff. They have a proven track record. So I'm very, very happy with the quality of the stuff that they use and the components, all that sort of stuff. And then finally, let's talk about the pros and the cons. Pros, things I like. I love the top mounted battery. I love the shape. I love it's a bit thicker than most of the other ones out there in terms of the arms. I like the camera protection. I like the T, not TPU. I like the little mount at the back for the antenna. I like the sloping shape. That means it's gonna slice through the air a little bit better. It's gonna protect your batteries better in a crash. I love the warranty and I even like the price. I feel like for like the $35 or whatever it is with the aluminum parts all in here, there's no standoffs in between because you just don't need them. It's very light. It's just, there is a lot to love about this quad. I think it's just, I, I know a lot of people are gonna be enjoying it. Things I don't like, well, Armiton, it looks like on the one that's looking at the website, you're not releasing the next batch until I think it was December 20th or something like that. So it's gonna be very popular and I don't know if they're gonna be able to keep up with demand for this thing, especially moving into the US. There's gonna be a lot of people who look, it might be a little bit too cold or there might be too much snow or they might be flying in some smaller places. They want something they can still scream around. They've been having those other toothpicks but they break the batteries on the bottom, all that sort of stuff. They might have a whole stockpile of toothpick batteries and they think, yep, they can just see how much fun this quad's gonna be. But yeah, I imagine the demand is going to be uh, fairly sought after, especially because the price is so low. The other thing I don't like is... Mm, I... It's even got a buzzer in there. I didn't notice that before, so I don't know. Um, I, you know what? I. Besides it maybe not being in stock when you want it to be, I don't know what I don't like about this quad. So I don't know. That's pretty exciting. What we should do now, though, that's it on the bench. That's the text and the specs. Let's go out to the field, rip this thing around, have some fun with a very, very exciting toothpick style of class that is doing things differently from Armiton. So let's see what the other boys think. Show you some DVR. Oh, there's something that is a con, I would say. For some people, you're not flying around getting HD footage on this. You might be able to cram one of those HD recorders in there and that might be for some people, but I, I don't feel like that's worth it. This is mainly made, and you're not gonna be carrying a GoPro. This is mainly made for you people who just want a sweet little ripper that's gonna go hard and be a lot of fun. So anyway, let's go out to the field, fly around with the boys, see what they think with the Armiton tab pole in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field, and what better place to fly this than the field of dreams. Look at this gorgeous place. It is probably my FPV paradise, uh, but what we're flying around, the Armiton Tadpole. I'm gonna fly it first, see what it's like, show you guys some DVR, and then we're gonna hand it over. I'm catching up with the boys tomorrow, and we'll get their impressions. But thanks to editing, you don't have to wait until tomorrow, you can watch it all now. So let's do it. Rip it around with this little Tadpole, Tadpole. And if I don't say so myself, I am pretty excited. Let's do it. 
Okie dokie, on board, we're about to arm the Armiton. Good one, nice good pun right there, but what we're going to do, we're going to fly around, but there's a few things I want to mention. Number one, the battery is a little bit small, what I'm using. I definitely did go out and get some better, bigger batteries because this thing, it does suck down the juice. We'll talk about that. The rates is something we need to talk about, and also there is a fair bit of wind in here. You're going to see flying around normally. You don't want to fly these tiny little quads with wind because they can get affected. They can get, a, can get a little bit bumpy, all that sort of stuff, and get bashed around, but uh, I feel like this versus some of the the other lighter toothpicks out there it just seemed to smash it in that that regard so it wasn't really affected by the wind and you'll see just how windy it is so it was nice it still could handle those gusts and of course flying around on 25 milliwatts all that sort of stuff but let's get into it the actual flight experience what it was like i just got to say it was fun you want this thing you can take it out you can rip it around this is a fairly big space but most of the time i rip my five inches and it still felt like a fun little freestyle drone it captures the absolute essence of what armiton is all about it is about giving you a reliable quad that's not going to break if it does you don't have to i should say you don't have to worry about it breaking because you've got that warranty it protects your camera you can fly it through anywhere like there's no way i'd be flying my bigger quads through something like that you know this was up. Oh, I'll just go through this little gap right here underneath the table. That's what I love about Armature. And the quads feel great on the sticks as well. So they're responsive. There's never too many oscillations. They feel robust, stiff. They just give you exactly what you want when you're looking for that flight performance. I will say it's not the fastest toothpick out there. It kind of reminds me there's some toothpicks that are built for speed. And like all quads, some are built for speed. Some are built for freestyle, of course. Here, look at the wind. So you can definitely see it's uh, fairly gusty there. But yes, yeah, some quads are built for speed. Some are built for freestyle style and this i love armiton is stuck at what they love and what they're experts in is at building a proper freestyle rig for toothpicks so this finally this little class we've got a proper quad here that just takes everything they've learned about freestyle put it in this little form factor you can take this thing out rip it around it's not noisy it's not going to be intimidating you might have a little park there might be some people around that you know would be scared of a big five inch drone or people with their dog walkers this little thing nobody's going to give two hoots when you're buzzing this thing around it's heaps of fun it performs well and yeah i just got to say i i'm a huge fan of this bad boy it was a lot of fun and toothpicks are not normally my favorite class but uh in this regard this probably be coming with me everywhere oh here was annoying too because uh, i kept doing turtle mode and i got it uh, free a few times but of course every time i did it just would pop back up into the branch i think right here i go to take off and yeah get stuck in the uh, trees above me so that's something I like as well about the top mounted battery. It is just helping you flip it over, keeping the props out of the grass, all that sort of stuff. But to sum it up, it's an awesome little fun freestyle drone in the toothpick class that people are going to enjoy screaming around. It comes with a warranty. And look, it's not the fastest. I do think there are some faster ones out there, but this is definitely going to be a lot more robust. And it might, for a lot of people, be kind of the last toothpick that you ever want to buy you might almost you might have a stockpile of batteries you might be sick of breaking frames all that sort of stuff because of all the pros of this one it's just i think a lot of people are going to enjoy this and the camera protection it's kind of i guess what i've been looking for when it comes to a toothpick so definitely uh i really enjoy the tadpole from armiton but of course they seem to be smashing out awesome designs i know what they do and they do it well but what we should do now let's hand it over to the other boys and see what they think as well you can see it does have a fair bit of pop though and it does handle the wind nicely as well so let's hand it over to some of the other boys we'll stop watching my acro flights and see what they think what is that on? I think that's what. I don't know. That's one of my daughters. That's one of my daughters' like cartoons that she watches on TV. Anyway, John, Tadpole from Armiton. First thoughts. Hey, it looks like a like a little mini rooster or something similar to that one. Like, yeah, yeah, but that's what they're trying to keep in their style. You know, like car companies, they keep their style rolling crossover models. They're doing it with the tiny boy as well. They so are. A, a probably one of the big differences between this and most of the other toothpicks that you see yeah. is, of course, it's got the Armiton warranty, but it's a top mounted. There's not many top mounted toothpicks out there. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Most of it is um, because the camera's set really high yeah. on there. It's and all under mount sort of here, thing. Mate. Good luck trying to break that. Yeah, yeah. It seems like really crazy having that much camera protection on such a light sort of one. But hey, it's, if it's going to stop you breaking your camera, all the good. I have broken cameras on ones this small before from running into poles and stuff because, you know, tiny quads, you want to run it around yep. playgrounds and yep. stuff like that yeah but um hey looking at it yeah i like the camera protection that's like the tiniest stack ever it's so tiny um i like the like it's just really all lightweight components in there it is um I think it's about 60 grams from yeah. memory from yeah when I've had it on the bench 
yeah, that's without it. a battery. It, it, you, even though it's like yeah, you got the metal front and you got the metal back there, I'm guessing it's some kind of aluminium. It is. It is. Yeah, because um, it's still really light. Like it's um, barely heavier than any of the other like sort of smaller like toothpick style ones that we've gone over. Too easy. Should yeah. Whip it around and see how it goes. Yeah, man. Yeah. Punch. I don't know. Give it a punch if you want. <laughs> oh, it's angry already. Gee whiz. Is this battery no, all right? I do, yeah, I do only have small batteries on here. Oh, that was a nice little manoeuvre. The Jono Special. Jono Special. I give it 10 seconds before you crash into a tree, being too fit. Oh! 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 <laughs> less than 10, less see, than 10. See. All right, talk to me about the quad before you... Uh... Before you ruin can I just this wreck it video? and then talk about it? Because yeah, I'm yeah, having fun, okay? No, I, I mean, like, <laughs> let, let's get some stuff I can use for footage and content. But you can put that quad through the ringer, give it a bashing. It is from Armiton. It's got a warranty, so go for it, brother. Yeah. All right. That was a nice little flick back there. But yeah. talk to me, Jono. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Slow I'm having... down on the fly. Yeah, yeah, less yeah, yeah, yeah. fun. Stop having fun on this channel. Oh, God Tell me damn what it. the quad feels like in the air. Because it looks oh, like... Oh, did... oh! No. <laughs> yeah. What, what did I say? Oh, okay. What okay, did I okay. say? Yeah, yeah, I th that... I'm still good. Let's see if we can go again. Okay. Nah, nah, we're fine. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Trev words. All right. We're hey. Over here. <laughs> okay, tell, tell me how that was while we go to get it. Yeah, okay, while we try to find it. Um, that was a lot of fun. I was clearly having a lot of fun. I couldn't talk because I was having heaps of fun. Hey, like, um, when I first picked it up, the first thing that I said to you was, oh, those motors seem like they might be a bit small. Nah, they're good. They've got a lot of power on them for the size of it. I think it's because it's so lightweight, it does, doesn't really matter. Hold this for two seconds. Yeah. Straight. Still good to go? Battery up. Yeah. Can I fly it some more? Yeah. <laughs> I will. Let me I want to fly it. I want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to fly it after you. <laughs> oh boy! All right, I want you to slow down on the tricks and the speeds. I know. I want you to talk me to what it was like. Okay. Right. And and do you want me to shoot the flies away from me because they're crazy. Right? Yeah, yeah, they're absolutely bonkers. Right. Um. Okay. For now, we are. All right. So yeah, flying it around. Hey. Um. Easy to control. Like really easy. Like um. My tricks are normally a little, like a little bit off center and stuff like that, not quite right. Um, on this guy, like I just, I don't know, like yeah, the way it's set up and the camera angle and stuff like that, it's um seems spot on sort of thing. Are you getting any prop wash or any? Uh, is it affected by wind? Any oscillations for such a um, tiny quad? I am getting a little bit of oscillation coming down, like in my own prop wash, and there's a little tiny bit going like against the wind. There is, so there's there's a bit of that, but um, other than that, it feels a lot like um. It feels like a really, like, a nice freestyle quad, to yeah, be that's, honest. that's kind of what Chris from Armiton said, you know, yeah. I think in the write-up about this, it just feels like a 5-inch, just a bit more agile with the flips and turns and stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm about to toast this battery, so I'm going to bring it in, but okay. it feels smooth, it feels really controllable. It Who feels, would you recommend it for? Um, this, I feel like, is spot on one of those kinds of rigs you want if you, um, want to practice your freestyle stuff but not destroy your actually like big expensive five inch like um yeah that was that felt like i just i just want to start doing tricks i want to start practicing freestyle when do you inverted your spins all that like that's a good point so hey i'll go get it all righty <laughs> these flies man so, I'm just gonna start eating them and maybe they'll yeah, learn yeah. their lesson. So, you know, thin their numbers out a little bit. Arr. So you're give me this back. <laughs> you're gonna step on your cord. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're starting this again. Okay. So I think you were saying this might be for practicing or something like that. That's how you feel. Yeah, I, I feel like this is a this is a good um oh the flies. Um I feel like this is a really good like um if you if you got like a complex kind of trick or something like that in maybe like a risky area and you want to do a dry run with something, I reckon that would be a good way to do do a dry run, like get it nailed down pat and then maybe switch over to your fiver with and your GoPro, GoPro so you're that. not risking all of that gear. Cause um, okay. obviously, you know, like I was saying with these, um, with these little guys, everybody knows lighter mass is less likely to break on impact. Not to mention we've got all the nice aluminium reinforcement and stuff. Yeah, um, oh, man, I, I dig it. it. I love that idea. I've never even thought of a training. Yeah, like a, like a dry was run. It, was drone. it fun to fly around too? Hey, was it fun? Yeah, absolutely. You saw. I wasn't answering. Yeah, You're yeah. like, hey, tell me about it. I'm like, no, I'm <laughs> flying. Get stuffed. <laughs> Too easy. Right, yeah, man, thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you reckon? Definitely thumbs up. A lot of fun. Easy to fly. Yeah, I would gladly have this. Like I'm saying, a dry run drone with a warranty. And yeah, I think with... the frame is thirty five bucks. Oh, it's only thirty five bucks. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna have to get one. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. All right, thanks, man. No worries.
Radio, so there it is. There's my review with the Armiton Tadpole, and what more can I say? I love this little thing. This is what a freestyle toothpick is all about. First and foremost, if you want to pick one of these up, you are going to just be off to the fields, flipping, rolling, crashing, not having to worry too much. And I've got to say, I've never thought of a quad either, like as a practice drone. So, like when Jono was mentioning, this is the sort of thing. If he has a hard trick he wants to nail down, he doesn't want to risk his expensive drone with a big GoPro on the top and possibly wreck it. This bad boy gives you. That that opportunity. You can go and nail those tricks, practice things down, and you don't have to worry about it breaking. It is so light, it's going to bounce off everything, and it's got a lifetime warranty, and everything is very, very well protected, which is something that you can't say for those other toothpicks, which have bottom-mounted batteries, they've got thinner arms, all that sort of stuff. So Armton definitely has thought about, look, what is out there in the community, or what doesn't the community have yet, and also they're built on their strengths, which is things like the Rooster, the uh, Chameleon. They've got a very, very robust little frame held together. Now, what I would say, I've been flying this thing around with the 300 milliamp hour battery and it was sucking down the juice a little bit more so for anybody I'm having much better results I'm getting even more punch and better flight times I'm using a 450 so for me that seems to be the sweet spot on this quad a 450 or a 400 milliamp hour if you can get it the 300 was just a little bit too small so you're getting like about a two minute flight time this bad boy I can just cruise all day have a ton of fun and I don't know, that's, uh, it is an absolutely gorgeous little drone. So I'd love to know, what do you guys think? What do you think about a toothpick that's a little bit different? What do you think about a freestyle drone? What A freestyle toothpick, I should say, that's doing things a little bit differently? And just, yeah, your overall thoughts on the lifetime warranty and the protection of the camera. All that sort of stuff. It's a very, very easy drone to like. And of course, the price uh, coming in at like the 35 buck mark. I think a lot of people are going to be enjoying this thing ripping around, especially if winter's coming and looking for something to fly in smaller spaces. But that's enough rambling for me. Subscribe for more FPV related content. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run, uh, I haven't queued this with Armiton, but I'll see if I can tease something up. Let's do a bit of a giveaway. So uh, someone will put a giveaway for one of these frames. There you go. I will organize a frame for somebody out there. Just leave a comment down below if you want to be uh, in the entry to win one of these up. Pretty much I just want to know your thoughts. What do you think about Armiton's first entry in the toothpick uh, style size? Other than that, subscribe for more FPV related content. Just through Armiton kind of under the bus there said, yeah, let's do a competition. And as always, happy flying. I was saying this is like good for people who want to practice their stuff. Yeah, it feels like a good, like, one of those kind of practice ones. Obviously, being the smaller ones, as you know, we all know that the, the smaller, like, two yeah. picks. Oh, hey. You got a phone call? Yeah. Yeah? Is it important? Maybe. Maybe. Hello? Uh, yes? Oh, good night, yourself? Business call. Important business. <laughs> yep. Yep. Do a review of what he's wearing today. We've got some pretty stock standard canvas shoes, not too fancy, just stock black. Mm, how we rate those? They're pretty plain, you know, like just a yeah, average sort of shoe. So yep, it's gonna have to be yep. a five out of ten for that. We got the like faux jeans with the uh, tracky style elastic bottoms on there. Pretty trendy looking. Extra like yep. threads through there, yep. just because. No worries. All right, thanks, mate. <laughs> thanks, bye. I'd give them like about a 7 out of 10, they're kind uh, of daggy, but kind of chic.